Dear friends, welcome to another episode today in the military world. In this video, we will talk about the evacuation of Al Shifa Hospital in Gaza and the Israeli preparation to attack what they claim to be the main Hamas headquarters in the sea. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe now and hit the notification bell to not miss any updates. As a terrorist group, the Hamas mission is to cause panic and spread terror indiscriminately among the civilian population. Like any terrorist group, Hamas consists of cowardly monsters who, besides attacking Israeli civilians, hide behind their own civilians to hinder or even prevent Israeli counterattacks. It's a tactic known as a human shield. As the name implies, it involves using civilians as a means of pretend. In the case of Hamas, if the human shields work and Israel does not counterattack, that's great. But if Israel attacks, even better for Hamas, as it will reinforce their narrative that Israel is deliberately attacking civilians, when, in reality, it's Hamas forcing civilians to stay in the crossfire. Inserted into this human shield tactic is Hamas hiding in civilian structures like residential buildings, schools, and even hospitals. According to the Israel Defense Forces, Hamas, aware of the legal status of hospitals in conflict zones and knowing that any Israeli attack on a hospital full of civilians will only reinforce their narrative, is concentrating weapon depots and command centers in the main hospitals of Gaza, notably Al-Shifa, the largest in the region. Al Shifa Hospital is enormous, with various blocks and specialty centers occupying several city blocks in Gaza. The Israelis, knowing that this is where Hamas coordinates a significant part of its operations, have oriented their invasion strategy to surround these facilities with a pincer, advancing from the south after isolating the entire city of Gaza and another descending from the north along the coast. This strategy is designed to prevent reinforcements, including from the sea. In recent days, the Israelis started occupying some of the hospital buildings, showing what they claim to be evidence of Hamas' presence in those facilities, including a video showing the entrance to a tunnel next to one of the hospital blocks. However, the Israelis have not yet entered the main block responsible for emergency care, precisely because there is a large concentration of civilians, some of whom are hospitalized and require special health care. But for Israel, by successfully destroying what they claim to be the main Hamas facility, they will inevitably need to enter that block, something that seems imminent. Local sources report that this Saturday, November 18, civilians began to be evacuated from those facilities. According to Al Jazeera, more than 7,000 people were inside Al Shifa Hospital, many in critical condition, with the newspaper stating that the order for immediate evacuation was issued by Israel. Other sources, like France 24, state that there are 2,000 people in the hospital, with hundreds leaving the area on their own. The French newspaper cites the Israel Defense Forces, who said that no evacuation order was issued. Information contested by the hospital director, Mohamed Abbasalmia, who said that Israel did order the evacuation of all patients. Mohamed Zakat, the general director of all Gaza hospitals, reinforced this information, saying that the Israelis forced the evacuation of Al Shifa, with the Israelis only stating that they complied with a hospital request to create a safe corridor to allow the safe exit of civilians who had been medically cleared. As usual in this conflict, the information is highly contradictory, but from the images we receive from the area, it is evident that many civilians are leaving the hospital and moving away from the facilities, fearing the start of the Israeli assault. Despite some videos showing weapons found in some blocks of Al Shifa, Israel has not yet presented any compelling evidence proving the existence of large Hamas facilities and depots. The Israelis argue that the only way to show this will be after complete control of the hospital facility. If Israeli claims are true, and Hamas is indeed entrenched in that hospital, it is quite clear that they will not easily abandon the area and will apply their human shield tactic more than ever. If this happens, the final Israeli assault on the main block of Al Shifa could result in a shockingly high civilian casualty toll, with Hamas determined to fight to the last Palestinian civilian. 